Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Oh man, I'm pretty excited today. The guys over at Coffee and Ham Radio let me do some research and development. We're gonna build a new antenna, one that's been asked by for quite a few people that know us. They've been asked us for a long time to make one of these antennas. So stick around and let's check it out. Hey Wayne up in uh, Spokane, KK6USY, you're booming down into California. Uh, station that said I had a booming signal down there. Thank you and thank you very much. And uh, you have that big booming signal up here in Spokane today. Uh, sound beautiful as well. Uh, I got the Wayne up here, uh, KE7NUV. All right, today's antenna is gonna be a fan dipole. Uh, my good buddy uh, over at uh, Smoke Signals RF, Don, has, has asked in the past if we'd make a fan dipole. So you could go out and have three bands, not have to do any kind of a tune up at all, or if anything, just a little touch up if you're at the ends of the band or something like that. So the guys at Hot Coffee and Ham Radio said, hey, why don't you see if we can get this thing rolling? The fan dipole presents some problems. Um, all of our antennas are portable antennas, are meant to be portable antennas. And to separate those wires, you have to be able to separate them, but you also have to be able to wind them up. I think I have it figured out. Like I said, this is research and development. And the other thing is being able to wind it up, you can't have anything that really separates them really well. So I had to make some, uh, some spreaders and the spreaders I printed up. I'm not sure what we're gonna offer yet, but we'll offer something to make this thing work. So far, all I've done is I've cut my, my, my elements to lengths. I added a few inches, bent them over two inches, and we're gonna put it on the Rig Expert today and see how close I was. Probably have to make some adjustments. It's probably too long, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too short. So let's check this thing out. Okay guys, it's really hard to uh, video an antenna in the sky, really. But uh, there's the end. That's, uh, the, well, that's actually the end where 20 and uh, 15 end up. Now 10 is up here farther. Someplace, I'm not sure, right somewhere. I think right about there. Yeah, that's 10 right there. And then we go all the way up. And then there's the, uh, the winder. Now this will be on our regular winder. We try to make everything modular. And uh, hey, if you guys already have a Mercury, you could probably do this yourself also. And I'll come back down all the way to the bottom. Somewhere around, that's actually, that is the end of 20 there. Hard to see guys, sorry. And then my, I use my, my normal uh, tide jug there for the uh, guy out. I'm using my puck system with the uh, concrete stake. I don't need any guy lines really. The second, uh, the antenna actually makes a guy line for me, but really there's no need for it. Look at that. Is that the smoking ape there? I think it is. All right guys, let's use the old rig expert. Try to get to where you can see it. Let's turn this thing on. Okay, let's, let's see where it's at. Let's go to, let's do 14250. Let's just check the uh, SWR. Yeah. Somewhere around 1.5. Let's do 1. a scan on it. I think it's a little long. 14250. That's probably me moving it. Let's just scan it again. So, if we go back, let's go to the middle of this. We'll look at, uh, let's just look at 8. This gives us all the info. So it's 1.3, about 58 ohms. X is uh, 13.5. All right, ah, that's pretty good. We could shorten it just a little bit, but if you wanted to do FTA, it's probably actually really good. Let's go to 15, 21, 
let's just say 21300 Okay, SWR, uh, 2.2, let's go to 4, let's do a scan, oh yeah, it's way too long, but, what did I say it was? I mean, it's usable there, but we'll shorten it up some, 10 meters, so this is for 10, 15, and 20. Uh, those are probably some of the hottest bands you guys get, especially for some DX and stuff. So, the other one is 17, and it might be close enough to 17. Let's uh, let's try 28.5. Okay, 2.0. That's usable, guys. Let's just see where it's at. I bet it's long. Yeah, let's uh, let's go all the way over and just see. Now let's do a, a scan. Yeah, so hey, you guys into uh, CB, pretty dang close there. So we'll shorten up 10 meter also, guys. Yeah. See, yeah, our ohms are 24, almost 25. We're really close to being the resonant area though. It's minus 9.9. .9 on the X there so that's a pretty actually a pretty good spot for it and 400 500 all right let me make a couple adjustments okay guys let's see what we got so I took two inches off everything let's just look at this is uh, 28.5 let's just look at the SWR first okay so 1.6 it was like around 2, 2.5 before. Remember it was way down in the CB band, so let's do a scan. Oh yeah, we're up a, a 28, it looks like I got 28.2 somewhere around there. Okay, let's go to 21300. We're 2.1. I have 2.7 before. Let's, uh, let's do a scan. Probably still get that better. Oh yeah, we're still way way long on that one. So we can make that better. Okay, let's do 14250. Oh, uh, 1.17. That's pretty good. I think we were uh, 1.4 before. Let's just uh, let's scan it. Yeah, I think we're going to leave that where it's at. All right, guys. Uh, this we're 28,500. Let me do a, uh, a sweep. Okay, that looks good. I like that. All right, let's go to um, 21,300. Oh, 1.27. Oh, nice. Let's do a quick sweep of that one. Okay, I probably went just a little too far, but that's that's not bad. We'll uh, we'll take that. So let me uh, let me get on the radio here and see if I can find some people and see if we can make some contacts and see if this antenna actually works, guys. There's 15. That's like a parks in the air. Kilo Kilo Six Uniform Sierra Yankee. Yeah, it's KK Six USY. Uh, Setting out here in a park, uh, so it's not but not a park like you're at. It's just a regular old soccer field here in California. Good signal. Yeah, 
All right, yeah, you're not uh, moving my meter, meter, but I'll give you a five and one, five and one. Totally readable. Roger, uh, yep, that's the same here. Uh, 73. 73. Wow, the band's really quiet today. CQ20, CQ20, this is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra, Yankee. Actually, let's, <laughs> we're on five watts. Let me turn my power up, guys. So that Texas call was five watts. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20 meters. This is Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform, Sierra, Yankee. Oh, KM Mike. KM9 mic check. That was. Hey, Steve, I think I heard you in there. Can you uh, try it again? All right, I'm not receiving you very well. You're about uh, five and five and five and one, five and two, something like that. Okay, copy the five five. Thank you for the contact, Steve. Uh, temporary offline. The, the main man from. Uh, Wisconsin, thank you for the contact. So while I'm on the uh, uh, FT-991, I finally put down 100 watts. I just made a contact to uh, Texas on five watts, but I'm using the uh, fan dipole, our new antenna, uh, just a little testing on it. All right, you have a good day, Steve. Utah at Kilo 3091. QSL? Roger, oh, this Roger. guy's nice and loud. Yes, w 6 and Amarillo, Texas, sounded great. Okay, thanks for, um, um, thanks for Amarillo. And I have you also at a 5-9 plus, 5-9 plus here in southwest Utah, over. Roger, Roger, sounds like a great weekend. Thanks for the 5-9 plus, and uh, keep tearing it up. You're doing great. Great, thank you. Thanks for the contact. 7-3. Hello, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. KJ6, BCF, standing by. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee, 59 plus, here at Kilo 3091. QSL? Uh, QSL, a copy uh, 585, peaking at 58 there. Good signal, very loud. Okay, well, thanks for the uh, 5 and 8. Uh, we're here at Kilo 3091, Southwest Utah. What's your location? Over. I am, uh, well, about 30 miles northeast of San Francisco, testing out a new antenna for the Coffee and Ham Radios guys. A uh, little fan dipole that I uh, threw up today and uh, just tuning it up. Okay, well, you sound really loud. And um, are you just uh, 100 watts or under? Over. Yeah, 100 watts and about 20 feet. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, uh, we must have great propagation between here and the Bay Area because uh, you're very loud. Over. Yeah, you are too. Uh, hovering around 5.7, sometimes peaking 5.8 there. Hey, you have fun on that activation. Thanks for doing it. Okay, very good. Well, thank you for the contact uh, from the Bay Area. 73. Okay, guys. Uh, this thing seems to work really good. I mean, it's a dipole. It's going to work good, right? So let me just quick give you another quick shot of what we have out here. So let me turn this around. There's my patented uh, Tide bottle. Let me see what I'm looking at here. And I use those, they fill with water. I, I used to use the milk jugs, but they just weren't heavy enough. I've got a little bit of bungee cord on there, just so it has a little stretch and a little bit of paracord. And my, the end of my antenna, if you guys can see it, right there is, it's all, I'll fix it up nice later, now that I have my measurements. But that thing is about, uh, let me see, I can't even see if I'm showing it to you guys, hang on. So it's about uh, eight feet in the air. And then there's that, there's the other stuff up there. And I will fix all that so it's nice and straight. Uh, it's at the end there, you can see the, uh, you might be able to see the, the spreader that's actually uh, rigid. And then, like I said, we got my uh, pole down here. We got a little HRDX. We got temporary loft line, smoke signals RF, KK6USY, and the smoking nope. Oh, wait a minute. The smoking ape. See, there's our winder. Let me get a better angle at it. There's the winder. And the winder has a uh, a bow on one to one on it. All right, and there's pole about 20 feet. Uh, the station that said I had a booming signal down there. Thank you and thank you very much. And uh, uh, John's out there calling CQ, so I'll let you uh, get with him and. 
and uh, you have that big booming signal up here in Spokane they uh, sound beautiful as well uh, I got the Wayne up here uh, KE7 NUB I got your log Chuck and I'll be uh, listening out for you next time there but a uh, big beautiful signal on you too uh, sounded great you have to maybe jump back in real quick and tell me what you're uh, talking on there Okay guys, I don't know when this antenna will be available. We have the parts right now, most of them, because it's very close to our Mercury kit. Uh, you can choose yourself if you want to do a one-to-one uh, -one ballon. Uh, I would suggest you do, it's probably work better. Our, uh, we're gonna send all the parts anyhow, so you might as well do it. It's a pretty easy wind. I suggest uh, probably taping the uh, two wires together and do them at the same time, it's easier. I didn't do it that way and I wish I had of. So I'm Chuck KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures and Coffee and Ham Radios. Make sure you check us out guys, uh, Coffee and Ham Radios on Thursday nights and Saturday mornings. Hope to catch you guys on the airwaves, 73 all and be safe.